it's time to get out Spokane. Spokane Matt here and I am heading down to the Centennial Trail and gonna bike on into downtown Spokane where I'm gonna check out the Spokane Falls. Heard they're roaring and I can't wait to see them. Uh, I'm gonna, we're at about 2100 feet elevation here at our home in Northwood and so I'm gonna head down to the Centennial Trail which is about 1.4 miles straight down there. And then I'll hook up with a trail. And along the way, I'll uh, just point out some places that you might be interested in checking out yourself one of these days. Let's go. Right here is a great spot to launch your paddleboard. Uh, this is often where I launch, especially when the river's flowing really fast other places. Um, so we'll be getting there soon, but the, the water's a little fast here, even on this part of the river right now. I mean, we could do it, but uh, it'd be a lot of work. Next stop, Minnehaha. This is one of the area frisbee golf courses. I've yet to play it, but it's definitely on my get out Spokane to-do list. And now we're heading up on a little big popular mountain biking area, Camp Sakani. Another great place to get out Spokane. Blog post coming soon. This is another super popular place to recreate in Spokane. We have Minnehaha, John H. Shields, Minnehaha. Uh, people are gonna be up there climbing today, most likely. And it's set up very nicely. I am so stoked about the fact that they put in pickleball courts in Mission Park. Uh, this is a cool park, Grew, uh, played a lot of tennis here as a kid. It's real near GU. It also can be a bit sketchy at times, so you definitely want to watch yourself. You just never know. Better to be safe and careful. Uh, and one last thing before we leave the park, we have an actual really cool, like, looks like a little wiffle ball field, little league field anyways, and some hoops. So there's lots of ways to get out Spokane. Jumped off the path just a couple blocks so I could stop by No Lie Brew House, one of my favorite uh, places to have a beer in town. Highly recommend the Pistachio IPA. Uh, and they just put in a new beer hall. So that's super cool. So they can fit that many more people in there. Sorry about that. So yeah, born and raised. They're known for born and raised. Uh, good food, good service. And yeah, huge beer hall. So you can get a beer uh, anywhere in there. And then you can also go out on the patio. Uh, along the river and you can sit out in big Adirondack chairs and uh, have a cold one out there or whatever else you like to uh, enjoy they serve it all no lie now Gonzaga next stop so here we're approaching McCarthy, McCarthy Athletic Center home of Gonzaga basketball and Gonzaga University we all have the baseball field on the left uh, another great way to get out and enjoy some high-level baseball. They're wrapping up, so now it's Spokane Indians, Indians time. And then of course we have the law school and the Centennial Trail goes right through the middle. Super cool. They totally redid this bridge. We actually paddleboard here a lot soon, but you can see the water's hauling right now. So it'd be fun going downstream, but not upstream. There's some more funds at University from the water or from the bridge. This is a brand new bridge. They just uh, replaced an old one. It was time. It's really nice, simple, streamlined. I like it a lot. Driving right into Riverfront Park. We're about ready to come up to the Opera House. Uh, all kinds of places to hold events here. Concerts, all kinds of stuff. And then of course we have the famous clock tower, the pavilion. You see the pavilion tucked back in there? They redid that a few years ago. Super awesome. Sometimes bands will play out here in the summer. Symphony across the way on the grass. Great place to watch fireworks concerts in the summer. Spokane just keeps getting cooler. Uh, more to do, more to see, cleaning things up, making it nice. For kids of all ages, we have the newly renovated carousel. It's really nice, super fun, and the boardwalk's all new. 
used to be steps, feed the ducks down there. It's garbage goat. And nice Irish pub. We got a Doherty's there. And then of course, in the summer, we're gonna have kids running through the water right here. So we came to see the falls and here they are. Let's check them out from above. Zoom in a little bit and you can just see they're just falling. I really wanna go down there. Not sure if I wanna, quite a few stairs, as you can see. Great stairs, nice. But I uh, don't know if I wanna lock my bike up here. So, they're redoing that bridge there. We're gonna go over to Kendall Yards, take a shot looking back this way at the falls. We'll be able to get some good shots. But anyways, it's pretty cool. And then of course we have the gondola here. And that'll take you over the falls, and this would be a great time to do that. So they've uh, continued to update this over the years, done a nice job. Not sure how much it costs, but that information's easy to find out, and I'll post it on my Get Out Spokane blogging site. Okay, well, here's one view. This is uh, from the bridge crossing over to near the arena. So you can see how fast it's going here. Pretty majestic. So this is a new play area they put in with the last couple of years. Uh, as you can see, things for all ages, slides. Nice, soft um, flooring for the play area so you don't get banged up too much. And super cool basketball court too. Uh, Hoop Fest is really, you know, this is Hoop Town, USA. So, definitely want to have access to basketball, and you can see it's quite crowded, as is the new skate park. Right here near the arena, David's Pizza, relocated from the GU area. One of the best happy hours in town. 50% off drinks from 2.30 to 5, Monday through Friday and 25% off stromboli and salad. Just food, I think, all food. Pretty good deal. Another one of my favorite places to get out and enjoy food and wine Spokane is Mary Hill Winery. We got pizza there, it was Verace. Now it's something close to that. And then uh, Nectar. And then this is a new restaurant, I heard it's really good. Let's go see what the name of it is. In the summer they have uh, music out here and on I believe it's Wednesday nights they have farmers market it is super cool and this is called mole here in Kendall Yards I love Kendall Yards super cool hip place can't forget to mention Umi sushi in my opinion best sushi in town at least that I've had and they have a swanky lounge downstairs now too. Great food, great atmosphere, always had good service. River from a different perspective. So here's the view just east of Kendall Yards on the trail. Uh, pretty nice. We have some you can sit at and have a little snack, a little beverage. Uh, we have the We Are Marshall. Little art statue here, very cool. And then you can see the falls, you can hear the falls. Let's just be quiet for a minute and hear it. How cool is that? Look at falls, full effect. Over there, you actually have a better spot to see it. It's like a wall of water. That's where I was going to walk down to, didn't make it today. So, it's another cool place to go check out the falls. Just get out, climb some stairs. Feels good. Okay, let's get a closer glimpse of the falls. Just a wall of water. Unbelievable. Super cool. How would you like to go? Paddle boarding or kayaking down there. Uh, well, thanks.